In this tutorial, we're going we're gonna to start with multiplying a monomial into a binomial. So there's one term here, there's two in the brackets, there's one term here, two in the brackets. And then after that, the other eight are all multiplying two binomials together. Uh, squaring is the same thing. We'll get into those. It's really the same as multiplying two binomials. So to do this multiplying, so at the beginning here, number one, I'm multiplying. I'm going to the three x is said to distribute into the brackets, which means we which means we multiply it in the brackets by all the terms of the brackets by both both of them. So I'm going to start first here by multiplying the three by the x, and that will give us three x squared. Uh, there's really a one here and a one here, so that means there's two x's multiplied. That's why it's x squared. That's what x squared means. It means two x's multiplied. So I've multiplied the 3x by the x, and now I'll multiply the 3x by the negative 7. So 3 times 7 is negative 21, so it would be minus 21x. There's a single x in this product, because there's an x here, but none here. That's why it's a minus 21x. These are not like terms, so I cannot combine those. I can't subtract or add them, because uh, that means there's two x's here multiplied, but there's only one here. So that's why they're not the same kind of term. In number two, uh, we distribute the negative x into the 6x, multiplying it by the 6x here. So that would be minus 6x squared. There's really a negative 1 here. Negative 1 times 6 is negative 6. And of course, x times x is x squared, same as it was up in number 1 here. And then we distribute the negative x in and multiply it by the 3. Uh, negative 1x times 3 would be minus 3x. And again, those are not like terms, so we cannot combine or subtract or add them. For number three here, and it really doesn't matter what order you do this, although if you do it in some kind of an organized fashion, you're not going to miss products or maybe do one a double. Okay, So basically, you're multiplying every term in the first by every term in the second. So I'm going to start and multiply the x by the x first. So x times x would give me x squared. And then I'm, I'm going to finish with the x by multiplying it then by the 6. So x times 6 would be 6x. So I've multiplied that x by both terms in the second set of brackets. So now I need to multiply the 5 by both set of terms in the second set of brackets. So 5 times x would be a 5x, and then 5 times 6 is the last product, so that's 30. So there are two terms here and two terms here. That's why there's four terms all together. 2 times 2 is 4, so there should be four terms. And these are like terms in the middle here. 6x and 5x are like terms. There's only one x squared. There's only one number, so those are not like terms. There's no other x squared or, or, or numbers. So we'll write the x squared at the beginning, the 30 in the end, and 6x and 5x add to 11x. They don't add to 11x squared. That's actually thinking multiplying. I think of think of it this way. There's six x's here, and there's five more here. So all together, there should be eleven of them. Um, think of it. Think of an x as an apple. If you had six apples and five more apples, you would have eleven apples. You wouldn't have like eleven apples squared, for example. Okay. So adding like terms, subtracting like terms, you stay with the same kind of term. In number four here, so we would start by multiplying the x by the four x, and that will be four x squared. And then x times the negative 2 is minus uh, 2x. And then 3 times 4x. 3 times 4 is 12, so that would be a 12x. And 3 times negative 2 would be minus 6. And these are the like terms here. Okay, So there's only one 4x squared term, so we write the 4x squared down. Negative 2x and 12x add to 10x. That's really the same as 12x. Take away 2x is 10x. 12 minus 2 is 10. And then we have the minus 6 on the end. Uh, number 5 up here. So I'm going to start by uh, expanding the x in and multiplying it by that x. So that will be x squared. And then we'll multiply the uh, uh, x by the 3 here. So that will be a 3x. And then negative 8 times x is minus 8x. And negative 8 times 3 is minus 24. And again, there's the like terms. They're often in the middle. Okay, Not always, but often in the middle. So we'll write the x squared term down first. 3x take away 8x is minus 5x and a minus 24 in the end. Uh, remember, remember your integers 3 take away is negative 5. It's not 8 take away 3. Uh, think there's more negatives here than positives, so the answer should be negative. Or think of a temperature scale. If the temperature was positive 3 and it went down 8, 
it would be at negative 5, so minus 5 here. Uh, number 6, uh, we would uh, first multiply the 4x by the 2x to give 8x squared. And then 4x times 5 would be a 20x. And then negative 1 times 2x would be a minus 2x. And negative 1 times 5 is minus 5. And again, there's the like term, so the 8x squared gets written down. 20 take away 2 is 18, so 20x take away 2x is 18x, and minus 5 on the very end. Uh, for number 7, uh, x plus 4 squared means an x plus 4 times another x plus 4. So we would start by distributing the x into here, so x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. So now there's some, it looks like there's some duplication terms here because the two x plus 4's are the same. So when I multiply that x by, sorry, that 4 by that x, I end up with another 4x because it's really the same two terms multiplied as what I just did here. And then 4 times 4 in the end is 16. Again, there's the like terms, so 4x and 4x is 8x, x squared at the beginning, and the 16 in the end. For number 8 here, uh, 5x times 3x is 15x squared, and then 5x times the negative 1 is a minus 5x, and then we have the 2 times 3x is going to give us 6x, and 2 times the negative 1 is minus 2. Like terms here in the middle, so 5 take away 6, sorry, negative 5 plus 6 is uh, positive 1. Same as 6 take away 5 is positive 1, so it's the same idea x squared term in the end, the beginning, the 15 x squared, it's, there's no other x squared terms, and the minus 2 goes on the end. For number 9, 3x times 8x is 24x squared, and then 3x times the minus 5 would be a minus 15x, negative 2 times 8x is minus 16x, and negative 2 times negative 5, two negatives multiplied to a positive, so it's plus 10 in the end. There's the like terms, so 24x squared at the beginning. Uh, those two, negative 15 and negative 16, add to negative 31. And we have the 10 on the end. Uh, last one here, now 5x minus 4 squared means there's two 5x minus 4s multiplied. So we would start by 5x times 5x is 25x squared. And then 5x times negative 4 is negative 20 x, there's a single x in that product, so it's minus, minus 20x, and then negative 4 times 5x is the same thing, another minus 20x, and negative 4 times negative 4 is plus 16. Again, like terms in the middle, 2 negative 20s multiplied to a negative 40, so 25x squared minus 40x plus 16 is the final answer for number 10. And that's the end of the tutorial.